everyone. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Oh, wait a second. I'm facing the wrong way, aren't I? Boop. That's much better. So, you want to figure out how to make it so if your character uh, is facing the wrong way or the camera is way too far away that you make sure that your character is always watching? Well, allow me to show you how to set that up, basically. So, um, pretty much you can definitely set this up if you go to character, motion capture, and if you, of course, set up your motion capture, basically, you can have it set up where, basically, um, if I go here, basically, uh, and I set this to be iFacial mocap, for instance. You can have it where at the look at, you can enable when tracking, basically. Uh, and you can have it set up to the camera, depending on which one you want it to be at. Do keep in mind, it's only one camera at a time, though. It, via blueprints, if you want to do some toggling and such, you can do that. But otherwise, um, it is via camera, basically. Or just one camera. But even then, though, uh, let's say, for instance, you already set up your mocap stuff already. And you can't do that method. What do you do? So you can click on the look at IK and basically here you can click on yes and then make sure to click on your target it could be test camera also a little extra fun fact as well if you click on the plus arrow right here scroll all the way down and find anchor here what this is in case you don't know an anchor point is kind of like that little empty object that blender has so if you do shift a and then there's that little empty object that's an anchor point so basically that's what it's doing so this anchor point can also be very useful um so you can have it so uh basically this could be attached to a certain object as Stuff, or uh, you can have it where your character is falling wherever the anchor is at basically but I just want to give you that little fun fact basically but either way though uh, pretty much you can adjust your weight so if you want it to be like hey how you doing but if you want it to be very very uh, subtle then you can reduce the overall weight but you can also have it where certain areas uh, don't have to take full effect basically so yeah um, pretty much adjust the sliders however you want basically you can have it like this <laughs> um, You can have the sl sliders like this, but basically you can adjust and there you go uh, If you follow the steps properly, you can be able to have it where if you move your camera around your character will basically be um, Yeah, it's a very shaky camera, but your character will basically be watching wherever the camera is going basically Hey, where are you going? <laughs> but either way though, uh, I hope that helps you out on least you know, setting that up in case anybody does want to set that up. And I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!